Hey Homestead fans, today we're calling out Uncle Roger and his fried rice. I think mine's better. Come check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to our Texas Homestead. Today we're going to do fried rice. Teach y'all how to make rice. Simple, easy. Teach how to clean the rice. 100% important. So, today we have a rice cooker and I have four cups of white rice. Okay. Show you how to clean rice. I know most of y'all know how to do it, but it's just the easy way. Just swirl it. And you'll see how white it is. I've heard some people call it starch, whatever it is. I'm not sure. I just know it doesn't make good rice unless it's clean. It takes a while to get it off. If you lose a little, oh well. That's why I always start out with actually a little bit more, not a lot, just a little bit more than I plan on cooking with. And no, I don't have one of those super nice rice cookers that are, you know, a few hundred dollars that like to play you a song when they're done. I mean, you can play, you can make the sound of the song when it, this one's done if you want. But. The super nice rice cookers are very nice from what I can, all the reviews and everything I've read on them, I would highly recommend getting one, but channel's just not up for that yet. Now how many of y'all actually cook your rice in water? Well, a lot of people do. But I'm going to show you a, uh, a better way. If y'all cook your rice in something other than water, put it down in the box. I would love to hear what, all you, what everybody cooks their rice in. I know some people still cook it on a stove and a pan. Well, I hate to say, rice cooker is really the way to go. The only thing I really measure when I'm making fried rice is the rice. Everything else is by feel, guys. Gals. Makes it easy. I won't say, I won't say yeah, it makes it easy, but it makes it better. You don't need to measure everything in life. You can already see that it's coming much cleaner. If you want to reach in and just swirl it, which is the best way to get everything off of it, the swirling action is what moves everything around and gets everything off. You're just pouring rice in and trying to strain it over something. You never get the rice to roll over or anything else to get them clean. And always use cold water to rinse your rice. Main reason is you don't want hot water to help start your cooking action. You don't want to pre-cook your rice when you get it in there. Alright, whenever you feel you've got it drained enough, Try to get all the water out. Okay. 
Okay, the water's cleared up quite a bit. Okay, now try to get all, all your water out. You don't need a colander. There's still some water in there, that's fine. All right. All right, ingredients. Yes, I know it sounds weird, put ingredients in your rice. Ground ginger, this is fresh ginger. About a half a tablespoon, excuse me, half a teaspoon. Doesn't take a lot. And about a half a teaspoon, maybe a little less, of garlic. Okay. Next main ingredient, it's not water. It's chicken stock. Okay. No need to measure. Okay. Okay. A little bit more. Okay. Don't stick your finger all the way down to the bottom. Just to the top of the rice, one knuckle deep. That's it. That's it. Now put it in your uh, rice cooker. Sorry, Uncle Roger, I don't have the uh, high dollar one. Turn it on. Get white rice. Let it go. Now, for proper fried rice, your rice has to be at least 24 hours old. Okay. So when this is done, I'm going to take it, put it in the refrigerator, and then bring it back out tomorrow to make fried rice. So we'll see you back tomorrow when this is good and done. All right, guys, day two of the chick of the fried rice. Okay, veggies you're going to put in your rice. Yes, yeah, sorry, it's windy, wet, and cold out today. And I had to do a bunch of running around. First thing we're going to start out with is spring onions. Okay. Simple to do, of course, as you all know. Just chop your ends off, get rid of your whites. Save all that stuff to make chicken stock, beef stock, something else out of um, that you'll be able to use and, you know, you can have it for chicken stock that we use for the rice, okay? How many of y'all have ever really worked with shallots? Okay. Shallots is an onion. But it's pricier than an onion. It has a lot more flavor than a regular onion. And tastes a lot better. Easy to do. There is a trick to them that you need to do. Okay. I don't cut all the way down. Okay. When you get here, cut them in the middle. Be careful not to hurt yourself. It gives you nice, small little bits of your shallots. Okay, had to wipe my eyes for a little bit and get the get it all out. Garlic. Need lots of garlic. This is one thing you really can't have too much of and fried rice, okay? I use about 15 cloves and then uh, four cups of rice. Take the garlic, put it in a jar.
Okay. And when you do that, it comes out nice and peeled for you already. Saves you time from peeling garlic. All you got to do is get rid of the the mess that it leaves. You know, all the all the paper stuff that you don't want, which is on the outside of the garlic. Get some more garlic to do here. Now, chopping up garlic, let's bring you in. Okay, piece of garlic here. Don't try to chop it like this. Take it, flatten it, we'll crush it, and then chop it. Okay. There you go. Fresh chopped garlic. Let me get all these done for you. All right, one other thing you can add to it, if you like a little spice, it's some green chili. If you don't like a little spice, leave it out. Totally optional. I like a little spice, as y'all do know, and I'll leave the seeds in. Let's get to cooking some rice. All right, next main ingredient is gonna be eggs. I use two eggs per portion. I figure a half a cup, a little three quarters of a cup is a portion for most people um, as a side. So I've got like nine to 10 eggs in here. So use a spoon, don't use a whisk. Beat them into uh, submission. Make them uh, make them yours. Get them ready to go into a uh, hot pan. Yes, I'm doing this outside. My wok that I have isn't big enough for four cups of rice. So I use my giant wok outside that is not really a wok, but it's a disc. And uh, you can see it's quite large. So we'll get it ready. Okay, first thing you want to do, you want to oil your pan, get it to where it starts to smoke a little bit. Since this pan's too big for me to pour this out, I just go in, wipe it, and come back in with a little bit more. Peanut oil is what I use. Um, if you're allergic to peanuts, that's on you. You can do what you want to do. Okay, got your peanut oil in. One thing I like to add, I like to add a little bit of duck fat and a little bit of pork fat gives it a lot more flavor okay you can tell the way this is set up your main hot spot is in the middle your outer ring is cold is cool so as soon as i put eggs in they're going to immediately brown First thing you want in is your shallots and your garlic. You want them to get nice and fragrant. Don't want to try to burn them. Just want the fragrance out of them. And it doesn't take long. And that happens to come in with your eggs. As your eggs start to get just a little solid, a little more than a little solid, but solid. They're not runny anymore. Come in with that rice. Okay. 
try to get all of it. You know, that rice is so good, folks, you don't want to miss any of it. After that chicken stock, the ginger, everything that you put in it, all that work you put in that, work. Use your spoon, flatten your rice up. Okay. You don't want clumpy rice. Now you want to come in with your nice Japanese or some good sesame oil. Remember, this is four cups of rice. It takes a little bit. I might as well finish that off. And your soy sauce. Okay, Soy sauce, this is all on you. Get the little Capri thing out of it because that's just a waste of time. Okay. Make sure everything's nice and coated. You notice there's no measurements here. It's all by feel, all by look. It's just it's kind of like life. It's choices you got to make. What's what's going to taste good to you? That looks fabulous. All right. Now, the one thing we can't forget, the one thing I keep in the house, MSG. Words of Uncle Roger, it's salt on crack, which it truly is. But it gives you a flavor that you just can't mistake. There's no salt out there that makes up for what that tastes like. All right, now, your spring onions. You don't want to put your spring onions in early because you'll wilt them and they just won't be any good anymore. And folks, it's just that simple right there. You're done. There's no vegetables that go in traditional fried rice. There's no, there's no broccoli. There's no water chestnuts. There's none, none of that stuff. It's chicken fried rice. Not chicken fried rice. Well, technically chicken fried rice, but it's got that lovely uh, chicken stock in the, in the rice. Go ahead and scoop you up some. Take your fork. Throw it away. Because you only want to eat this with a spoon. No human eats eats this right here with a spoon. Because it's just too good to drop any of it. Just as good as any restaurant you've had, if not better. Uncle Roger, this is for you. I appreciate all your videos and uh, have enjoyed every one. And... Uh, Learned quite a bit. Made me a much better cook for fried rice, and I appreciate it. So, guys, we'll see you next time on this, on uh, our Texas homestead. Be sure you like, subscribe, and share. Show your friends how easy traditional chicken fried, well, traditional fried rice is. We'll see you next time.